an hour ago as a visitor, but out of your magnanimity, you've made me one of your own. You've made me a chief into your traditional council. I do not take that honor for granted. My presence here is not only an honor, but is also an education. I've come here to learn, and sitting at your feet, I've been able to learn the history of our people, a history that tells us that many years ago, foreigners who did not wish us well came into this land. A history that tells us that when they came here, they came with the desire to eliminate us. A history that tells us that when they came here, they came here to remove us from the waters that give meaning to our lives and our traditions. A history that tells us that they came here to undermine that which holds us together. That history is the history that makes me give great meaning to today's occasion, an occasion that has seen me being enskinned as one of your very own. It is a history that tells me that we may speak different tongues, we may come from different lands, but yet there is a sense in which we are one. There is a sense in which we doubt, but is it not true that doubt is the foundation of faith? I have faith today that we are one, and in our oneness, we are beholden to the mother continent of Africa. Your Majesty, I have no doubt that the instruments you have given me today, their symbolism coupled with the importance, constitute the arrows that we will use to conquer poverty, to conquer self-doubt, to conquer low self-esteem, to conquer hunger, and that it is under those arrows that Africa will once again recognize our greatness. On an occasion such as this, he who has been given honor, he who has been enskinned must not speak for too long. Wisdom only requires of him and demands of him that he should show grace, he should show appreciation. Permit me once again, your eminence and your majesty and your court to thank you from the innermost sanctums of my heart. May God bless you now and always. Be blessed, all who are present here. Be blessed now and forever.